my name is uh, Doreen. I work at YEF as a public relations officer, but I also do content development. Youth Empowerment Foundation YEF is a community-oriented hub located in a Germany district. We work with uh, displaced communities in a Germany, especially Pagunia refugee settlement, and there we address local issues by training youth there in open technologies, entrepreneurship, peace building, and uh, attitude change. So our vision is to see a transformed and uh, empowered and skilled refugee and host communities, especially the youth in a Germany, so that they are resilient and self-reliant. Now, how do we do this? We do this through mobilizing and supporting young people in refugees and host communities through trainings, cultural transformation, peace building, information sharing. This is done through media, mentorship and ICT based uh, learning. So in the past year we've been running a project called uh, AskNet. AskNet stands for Access to Skills and Knowledge Network. Through this project we've been able to reach out to 20 teachers during the pandemic and uh, we did this mainly to support these teachers to have access to online education resources because uh, when the pandemic came in schools were closed and that seemed like the only option to keep learning progressing so we did that to help uh, these teachers reach out to their students so that the pandemic is not an obstacle to education so we also did uh, skills training and we mainly did uh, liquids of making to help uh, the young people most of them had been had lost their jobs during the pandemic some people lost their jobs so we thought uh, training the people on liquids of making at a time when uh, washing hands was really important we thought we could use that skill one to help them gain employment but also with emphasis on uh, washing hands and other sops it was really important for communities to have access to not just uh, soap but the cheapest there could be through the asknet project we also conducted uh, podcast production for the young people both in the refugees and host communities we believe this training will empower the young people to be able to share the stories and say also the challenges that their communities are facing to the world so that uh, you know the world gets to hear about it and uh, solutions can be evolved around it uh, as innovation hub yes we envision uh, putting up uh, a satellite which is going to be a maker space, which will pull uh, skills of young people together. This is the first youth space that is coming up because the youth here do not have a space where they can gather for very constructive ideas. So for us, this is a solution we're providing to make sure that youth have somewhere to sit down and, uh, and uh, come up with what can be of benefit to them. We also did uh, advocacy and campaigns and we reached out to about 1,628 uh, mainly girls under uh, the theme childhood is not for motherhood and we chose this theme because uh, we're targeting mainly the, the young people, the girls who are primarily affected when they get pregnant and our main goal of doing this was uh, to encourage them will empower them to be able to speak up for themselves instead of waiting for other stakeholders in their communities or leaders do this for them.